Greetings and congratulations to all of the admitted students and their families for getting accepted to Stony Brook University for fall 2020. I'm Nicole Sampson, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, and I'm going to take the next couple of minutes to tell you a little bit about our college and highlight some of the exciting new things that are happening. First, we have over 30 majors in the college housed in approximately 26 departments. Shown here is a bird's eye view of the center of campus where all of our departments and majors do the majority of their work from research labs to classrooms, faculty and faculty offices. One of the highlights of fall 2020 is that we're introducing a new bachelor's degree in globalization studies and international relations. This degree is really cross cutting across multiple departments. More than 10 different departments contribute courses to this degree. It's really providing the framework for understanding mediation and negotiations. There's a language requirement and there's also a study abroad or internship requirement associated with the degree. Uh, we think particularly in the present climate that we're all involved in that this degree will provide absolutely high level analytical thinking and critical writing skills for our students. A second initiative I'd like to tell you about is our digital intelligence initiative. This is not a degree program per se, it's really a layering on top of existing degree programs. It's called digital intelligence and it provides micro credentialing for skills based accomplishments. A key part of this program is a freshman course called IAE or Digital Intelligence 101 that is team taught between the engineering computer science department and our English and art department. This course is a blend of coding and humanities arts courses. Out of that course, students are invited to become parts of project based teams. These teams are vertically integrated, including undergraduates, graduate students, as well as faculty working on various aspects of um, important up to date research projects that involve technical skills. And I'll show you three examples on the next slide. Uh, the outcome of this is receiving a digital badge accreditation and you know in the world we live in particularly now the virtual world having those technical skills in combination with a degree in history or linguistics or English for example is really key. Some of the research projects that we have ongoing are shown here on the left is engaging artificial intelligence in discussions about race and how does artificial intelligence reflect AI systems like Siri or Alexa in your, on your phones or in your homes? How does that artificial intelligence build itself on the databases, the data that we put into it? And what kind of biases, cultural biases are involved in that? Second project is really tracking the footprints of books through time, understanding how knowledge is transmitted, combining geospatial mapping skills along with uh, textual uh, interpretation skills. And the third example on the far right is mapping Long Island's, one of Long Island's poets, Walt Whitman, and understanding how his texts were influenced over time. In addition to these digital intelligence based research projects, we have many research projects for our students. Our students, because we are a research university, our undergraduates can join research teams studying anything from research from Earth to Mars. Uh, we do have a lot of remote sensing projects on planetary exploration. We have students who do art in residence and work in our studios. In addition, we have a fantastic music department with a symphony orchestra and our science labs have a high um, number of investigators working in neuroscience, looking at how the brain works and how it works in aging. Many of our students go on to win awards. We have students who get NSF graduate fellowships as they go into graduate school, Fulbright scholars, Goldwater scholars, and uh, additional types of uh, travel awards for their, their dissertation research or their undergraduate summer research projects. Our alumni are very illustrious as well. They've gone on to become CEOs, founders of uh, their own companies, vice presidents and leaders, and an array of different large and small corporations. Last, I wanna leave you with some comments on the undergraduate college experience. I know many questions, especially parents have, are about how advising works at Stony Brook. 
we advise with in-person advisors through orientation and the opening weeks of the semester. All freshmen come into the undergraduate college, which help provide, helps provide a holistic advising experience um, through freshman seminars in the fall led by staff, providing a lot of uh, college-based skills, time management, communication, study. And in the spring, those same colleges are engaged in small faculty-led topic-based courses. So those are just some of the great things going on in the College of Arts and Sciences, and we hope to see you in fall 2020. Thank you.